So happy Saturday, beautiful people. Just waiting for some people to join online. Give me a minute or two and uh, we'll get going. Hope that you had a great week. Morning Alistair, beautiful photo of the two of you on Instagram yesterday. Morning Heather, morning Naranjam, hey Tam, welcome. Oh, that was uh, inopportune, having a phone call coming through now. So good morning, happy Saturday. I'm so happy the sun started to come in. It's, uh, I think it's 14 degrees out here, but uh, with the sun coming in, I started to feel the beautiful rays. Hope that you guys had uh, the most incredible week and that you're ready for your weekend. So today's practice, I feel that we just need to flow. So we're moving from the hatha that we did on Wednesday night to um, a vinyasa flow today. I'm going to focus a little bit on the warriors. So um, lots of opportunity to work into this lower back area. We'll definitely keep working into the hips and into the knees. So ready to flow with me? So come to easy seated position if you've been sitting in this cross-legged position as you know i like to cross your legs around the opposite way so make sure that you're sitting down on those two sitting bones that as you sit down you use it to lengthen up you pull the energy up from the earth create space between each of your vertebra we take our hands down onto our knees today to ground elbows coming towards the side of our body relax into your shoulders chin parallel towards the floor and then as you gently close into your eyes, relax into your body. So taking the time at the beginning of the practice to find ourselves into our bodies and find our bodies into the space that you've chosen to practice this morning. Thank you so much for joining me. Really appreciate it. Sending lots of love and light to each and every one of you today. So as you start to just find the space, find the connection, just observe the breath as it gently flows in and gently flows out. No need to change the rhythm, just observe. So I want you to consciously let go of the week that you've had, let go of any plans that you have for the weekend and see if you can bring yourself into this present moment right here, right now, as you prepare yourself for your yoga class. Breath gently flowing in and gently flowing out. Starting to find that beautiful stillness in your mind. I want you to take this opportunity to observe the quality of the breath as it moves in and moves out. And then I want you to clear the screen. Don't take that observation like baggage through your practice. And then as it's an early Saturday morning, take this opportunity to just review how your body feels this morning. 
and then again let the baggage go. So from this position of grinding, from this position of stillness, keep your eyes closed, lift up your hands from your knees, rub your palms together, generate as much heat as you can in those beautiful palms. And then we're going to place those palms over your closed eyes, feeling the energy, feeling the heat come into your bodies. I want you to open up your eyes. Start to spread your fingers and then take your hands away from your face. Hands come back behind you. We're going to sit back, swap our legs around the opposite way. Drop our hands down onto our knees. Connect back down into the sitting bones. Lengthen out into your spine. Shoulders over your hips. And then gently close into your eyes. Inhale for a count of two. Hold the breath in for two. Exhale the breath out for two. Hold the breath out for two. Inhaling again for two. Hold the breath in for two. Exhale the breath out for two. Hold the breath out for two. And again, inhaling for two. Hold the breath in for two. Exhale the breath out for two. Hold the breath out for two. Last two rotations. Inhale for two. Hold the breath in for two. Exhale the breath out for two. Hold the breath out for two. Last rotation. Inhaling for two. Hold the breath in for two. Exhale the breath out for two. Hold the breath out for two. We're going to inhale for a count of three. Exhale the breath out for three. And again, inhaling for three, finding space, lengthening into your breath. Exhale out for three. Three more rotations, finding this beautiful prana, life force energy coming into your body. And as you exhale, letting go of the troubles of the world. Last breath here. So keep the length of the breath going. Bring your hands to a Julie prayer position at the center of your chest. Feel the one palm push into the other. Elbows go out towards the side. See if you can lengthen into your spine a little bit more. Relax into those shoulders. So at the beginning of the practice, we set our sankalpa, our attention, our affirmation for the class. Maybe that is for you. Maybe you want to dedicate your class to someone else in your life. I want you to summarize your intention in a couple of words. And then gently repeat that intention to yourself quietly in your mind on three separate inhales, giving rise and energy towards that intention. Once you've repeated your sankalpa, your intention, your affirmation three times, drop your hands down back onto your knees. Open up your eyes to half gaze, flicking your eyelids a couple of times. And take your hands back behind you. We're going to sit back and swap our legs around the opposite way. Drop your hands down onto your knees. Elbows coming towards the side of your body again. Lengthen out through your spine. I'm going to start slowly here through cat and cow. Tuck your chin towards your chest. Round your back towards the back of the room and pull your forehead down towards your knees deep inhale deep exhale then i want you to pull your hands against your knees pull your chest through your shoulders and look up towards the ceiling as you find a small rounding of your low back again deep inhale and exhale come back into that neutral seated position so cuss in an easy seated pose Tuck your chin towards your chest, round your back, all the way back behind you. So it's a seated cat pose. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, pull your hands against your knees. Coming forward, shoulders come through, elbows come in. Look up, round into that lower back. So I want you to take it slowly. Find space in your body. Come back into that neutral position. Remember... Just orientating and moving to breath. Last time, tuck your chin towards your chest, round your back. It's beautiful and delicious on the Saturday morning. 
Pull in through your arms, pull your chest through. Create that rounding of your lower back as you open up your heart center, look up towards the sky. And then we're coming back into a neutral position. We're going to do torso circles. We're going to take our uh, body across to that left hand side, roll all the way forward and then across to the right hand side, slowly sitting back on the right hand side, coming into the center, rolling across to the back of the left and then coming all the way back towards the left front, rolling forward. Again, just finding this movement fluidity in your body. We're going three times across to the left hand side first. Remember there's no rush here. What's more important is that you find space and open up your body and that you connect your movement to the breath. Once you've done three side, three times across to the left hand side, come back to this neutral position, the center. And then we're going to gently move across to the right hand side coming forward. You can feel that beautiful stretch on the left hand side of your body. Notice with awareness and consciousness what's happening in your body as you move through these asanas. Move a little faster in a moment, but just take the time to settle into your body, settle into your practice. Just having gratitude for where you are, who you are, and this opportunity to practice yoga first thing in the morning. So once we've done three times in either direction, come to a neutral position in the center. We're roll over onto our knees and come into child's pose. So knees come together, untuck your toes, tops of the feet, push into the floor, push into the mat. I want you to drop your hands down either side of your thighs and then tuck your chin towards your chest drop your forehead down in front of your knees so from this position take your hands back behind you underneath of your hands touching to the floor notice your chest connecting to your thighs deep inhales deep exhales just two more breaths here Lovely. Then I want you to lift up your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, palms come together. So this is a kneeling Buddha pose. Maybe starting to bring your hands towards the front of the room. You should feel it in your shoulders. Three deep inhales and exhales here. Release your bind. Place your hands down either side of your knees. Tuck your chin towards your chest. Gently roll all the way back up again. I'm just going to change my orientation. I want you to lean forward, find your way into tabletop position, hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips, index fingers parallel towards the outside edge of the mat. If you look through your knees, can you see your feet? If you can, gently take them out towards the side. I want you to find a little bit more space in the cat and cow now. Take a deep inhale as you exhale, drop your belly, pull your chest through, raise your gaze. And then we'll start to move a little bit quicker as you push into your palms, chin towards your chest, round your back up towards the ceiling. Starting to drop your belly, pull your chest through, raise your gaze, round into the lower back. And then push into your palms, chin towards your chest, really activating your belly, pulling your chest towards your thighs as you come up into cat pose last time. Drop your belly, pull your chest through, raise your gaze. And then last time, push in through your palm, chin towards your chest, round your back, up towards the ceiling. Good, beautiful. Come into that neutral position in the center. Tuck under your toes. Lift up your knees and find your way into downward facing dog. So I'm not sure how your body feels today, but I need to walk out my downward facing dog. So I'm just going to bend into left knee, bend into right knee, and gently walk it out. So... Find your way into your body, into your downward facing dog. Maybe you want to come up onto your tippy toes. Maybe you want to bend into your knees. Maybe you want to take your heels across to that left hand side. And take your heels across to the right hand side. Again, it should be sweet and delicious at the beginning of the flow here. And then maybe deepening into that leg stretch. Holding it for a little bit. One more time either side. Ah, lovely. So tucking your chin towards your chest. If your hamstrings are tight, bend into your knees. Bring your attention to your palms. Push in through your palms. 
Put your chest back towards your thighs. Drop your head between the frame of your arms. Pike your hips up towards the ceiling. Settling into your downward facing dog. Connecting into your sankalpa, your intention, your affirmation. Repeating it one more time here. And we want you to lift up your gaze. Look between your hands. We're walking all the way to a standing forward fold. Take your time. The joy's in the journey. Feet hip width apart. Once you come to this pose, I want you to push into your palms. Lengthen out, then tuck your chin towards your chest. Maybe a slight bend into your knees. Drop your palms down either side of your feet and come into a standing forward fold. As you inhale, lift up your hands, place them onto your shins, straighten out your arms, come into a halfway lift. Now, when we do this halfway lift, what often happens is your bum goes backwards. I want you to see if you can bring your hips over your knees, knees over your ankles, straighten out your arms so that you can straighten out your torso and then gently drop your chest down towards the floor. As you push in through the heels, you should feel the beautiful activation and engagement in the backs of your legs. And then taking this leg, releasing your hands down either side of your feet, maybe slight bend into your knees, coming into standing forward fold, chin towards your chest. Again, did you drop your bum backwards? Can you bring your weight forward? Step in through your feet, maybe straighten out those legs a little bit more, and pull your chest back towards your thighs. We're going to come up into halfway lift, lifting our hands onto our shins, straightening it out, making those adjustments, those alignments. Remember, you are in your body, in your consciousness, in your awareness, knowing what's happening in your yoga practice, just being present and conscious. And then coming all the way back down into a standing forward fold. Oh, finding space in the backs of the legs. From this position, bend into your knees, tuck your chin towards your chest. Start to round up into Tadasana, mountain pose, one vertebra at a time, lifting your head up lost. I'm just going to straighten my mat here. I want you to meet me at the front of the mat. Big toes touch. Open up your palms. Step down through your feet, lengthen out through your spine. As you inhale, root to rise, watch your prayer touch overhead. Thumbs cross each other. Again, lengthen up. Tuck your belly towards your spine, gentle back bend. And then we're coming all the way back into that neutral position, the center, swan diving all the way down to standing forward fold. On your standing forward fold, coming up into halfway lift. And then all the way back down into standing forward fold. We're going to step back with our left foot, dropping down onto our left knee, untucking our left toes, looking forward and taking the right knee forward in line with the right toes, opening up our chest, looking up. Beautiful blue sky in front of me. Tuck your chin towards your chest, drop your palms down towards the mat, tuck under the toes of the right uh, left foot, lift the left knee and step back into downward facing dog. From your downward facing dog, we flame all the way forward into plank pose. Push back through the heels. Don't push the bum up towards the ceiling and don't round into your back. Let's activate into our core. Knees drop down towards the mat. Sitting bones pull back towards your heels. Bend into your elbows, float forward. Knees, chin, and chest. Lift up your knees, drop down into your belly, untuck your toes. As you inhale, come up into baby cobra, pulling those elbows in. As you exhale, float it down. Tuck under your toes, push back through your heels, we're pushing back through to plank pose. Chin towards your chest, pike your hips up towards the ceiling. Downward facing dog. We're going to lift up that left leg behind us, bend the left knee towards your chest, step it forward, push back through the right heel, look forward. And then tuck your chin towards your chest, step your right foot forward. Bend into your knees, tuck your chin towards your chest, round out, one vertebra at a time. Lovely. Let's keep going. Inhale, root to rise. Watch the prayer touch above your head. Cross your thumbs. Lengthen up again. Engage into your belly. Gentle back bend. Keep your biceps in line with your ears. Not too far. Come all the way back to center. We flow all the way down to standing forward fold. Inhale, come up into halfway lift. Chin towards your chest. Coming all the way back down to standing forward fold. Stepping back with your right leg. Dropping down onto your right knee, untucking your toes, looking forward, and then extending that left knee forward as you look up. Drop your palms down towards the mat, tuck under the toes of the right foot, lift the right knee, float back to downward facing dog. I'm going to throw 
flow through and another vinyasa flow forward into plank pose. So we're going to go through chaturanga or chaturanga variation. I'll do chaturanga variation to start with. Drop your knees down, push off your shoulders, look forward. Bend your elbows backwards, take your chest all the way down towards the mat, slowly does it. Untuck your toes, ankles come together, push in through your tops of your feet, knees lift. Push up into upward facing dog, putting your hips towards your wrist, looking up. Ah, oh, beautiful. Drop your hand, drop your knees down, bend your elbows backwards, chest comes all the way down. Lift up your hands, place them underneath your shoulders, tuck under your toes, push back into plank pose. Chin towards your chest, back your hips up towards the ceiling, downward facing dog. Beautiful, guys. Right leg lifts up, bend the right knee towards your chest, step it forward, push back through the left heel, look forward. And then tuck your chin towards your chest, step that left foot forward, standing forward hold. Bend into your knees, tuck your chin towards your chest, round out, one vertebra at a time. How are we doing? All right, let's speed it up. Inhale, reach to rise. Exhale, back bend. Come all the way back to center, lengthen up, swan dive all the way down. Inhale, come up into halfway lift. Exhale into standing forward fold. We're stepping back with that left leg, dropping down onto that left knee, untucking your toes. Extend the right knee forward, looking up, bringing the hips forward. Dropping palms down towards the mat, tucking in the toes, lifting the knees, floating back to downward facing dog. Don't drag the foot. Flow forward into plank pose. So knees, chin and chest, chaturanga dandasana, chaturanga variation. I'll do knees, chin and chest on this one. Drop down onto your belly, upward facing dog, wherever you are, flying through your vinyasa, pushing back to plank pose. Chin towards your chest, pike hips up towards the ceiling, downward facing dog. Left leg lifts up behind you, bend the left knee towards your chest, step it forward, push back through the right heel, look forward, look up. Chin towards your chest, step forward, standing forward, fold. Bend into your knees, tuck your chin towards your chest. Round up, one vertebra at a time. We'll keep flowing. Inhale, root to rise. Back bend. Come back to center. Swan dive it down. Come up into halfway lift. Standing forward, fold. Stepping back with your right leg, dropping down onto your right knee, untucking the toes, looking forward. Extend that left knee forward. Open up that heart center, keep the hips square. Drop your palms down towards the mat, tuck under the toe of the right foot, lift the right knee, float that left leg back, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Flow forward into plank pose. Knees, chin and chest, baby cobra, chaturanga dandasana, upward facing dog. Maybe the chaturanga variation, whatever suits you. I'll meet you back in downward facing dog. Enjoy the flow. Make it your own. Lovely. We're lifting up that right leg behind us, bend the right knee towards your chest, step it forward, push back through the left heel, straighten up that left leg, look forward, chin towards your chest, standing forward, fold. Bend into your knees, tuck your chin towards your chest, come all the way back up again. Beautiful. I want you to come towards the middle of the mat. And gently bend into our knees, come all the way down. Knees go towards the outside edge of the mat, untuck your toes, right leg at child's pose, five breaths. Listen to the sound of the breath as it echoes back from the mat. Notice the length of your inhale. Balance the length of your inhale with the exhale. Bringing in beautiful, positive energy into your bodies. Exhaling, letting go anything that doesn't serve you. One more breath here. Push into your palm. Lift up your forehead, walk your hands back towards your knees. Come all the way back up again. Hopefully you guys are doing well this morning. So good opportunity, if you want to have something to drink, just grab something to drink quickly. For those of you that aren't having anything to drink, just place your hands down onto your thighs, and elbows coming towards the side of your body. Lengthen up through your spine. Close into your eyes and reconnect into your pranayama. Beautiful, long, deep inhales. Beautiful, long, deep exhales. Letting go of that stuff, feeling the lightness, oh, feeling the looseness in the body, beautiful morning, sun shining, beautiful blue skies. 
Again, just connecting into your sankalpa, your intention, your affirmation, giving rise and energy to that which you want to achieve in your yoga class today. Open up your eyes, find your way into downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale as you exhale, lift up that left leg behind you. Don't open up that left hip, square the left hip, drop the right heel, push into your palms, pull your chest back towards your right thigh as you lift that left leg up a bit higher. Take a deep inhale as you exhale, look between your hands, bend into that left knee, step the left foot forward, drop down onto the right knee, untuck your toes and then float both of your fingers up towards the sky as we come into a crescent lunge. Beautiful. Take a deep inhale as you exhale, tuck into the toes of the right foot, push back through the right heel and come up into a high lunge. Excellent. Deep inhale, deep exhale. So I'm going to ask you to look up to your prayer, bring the prayer into the center line of your chest. We're going to open up and find our way into warrior two pose. Know that my back's towards you. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Drop the right hand back behind you, rotate the left palm and open yourself up into a reverse warrior pose, stretching out the left hand side of your body. Take a deep inhale as you exhale, come back into warrior two pose. Then drop the left elbow onto the left thigh, trace the right hand side of your mat and open up into extended side angle pose. Beautiful. So from this extended side angle pose, keep your right hand where it is. Then take that left hand up towards the left hand side, dropping that left hand on the outside of your left ankle. So maybe you have to come onto cupcake hands, maybe you've got the space to drop that hand down, extend it a little bit deeper. From this position, bring your hands into prayer position, look towards the front of the room. And then we're gonna lengthen up into our spine, keep the bend into the knee, take the right elbow on the outside of that left knee. Beautiful. So this is going to be a little bit challenging. Some of you might find the space to do it. But I want you to take the left hand up towards the sky and drop the right fingers towards the mat. Some of you may be able to drop those hands down towards the floor. Lovely. Hands come back into prayer position. Prayer comes back into your chest. You drop both of your palms down towards the mat. Step back into plank pose. Push back through the heels. Then move into Vashistasana side plank on the left hand side. Rolling onto the left hand side, maybe dropping onto the left knee. Lifting up your right hand, floating your right fingers up towards the sky. And then we're floating all the way back down into plank pose. Knees, chin and chest. Baby cobra, when you're ready, float it all the way down again. Tuck under your toes, push back into plank pose. Chin towards your chest, pike hips up towards the ceiling, downward facing dog. Look back at the feet at the back of the mat. Walk your hands all the way back into standing forward fold. Bend into your knees, tuck your chin towards your chest, round out one vertebra at a time. So just come to this neutral position. I'm going to work into the neck and the shoulders before we move on to the other side. Take a deep inhale as you exhale, chin towards your chest. Take a deep inhale as you exhale, drop your head back behind you, look up. Chin back down towards your chest. Drop your head back behind you. Head comes back into a neutral position, nodding your head across to that left hand side and then nodding your head all the way across to that right hand side. From the right hand side back to that left hand side. And 
and from the left hand side all the way back towards the right hand side head comes back into a neutral position chin towards your chest left ear drops to left shoulder drop your head back behind you right ear right shoulder chin towards your chest back to the opposite side right ear right shoulder drop your head back behind you left ear left shoulder chin towards your chest head comes back into a neutral position as you inhale scrunch your shoulders up towards your ears as you exhale open up your mouth drop your shoulders down let the breath go and again inhale scrunch your shoulders up towards your ears as you exhale open up your mouth let the breath go last time inhale scrunch it up exhale let it go this time scrunch your shoulders up roll your shoulders forward around and down shoulders come up forward around and down last time scrunch your shoulders up forward around and down and now we move in the opposite direction scrunch your shoulders up roll your shoulders back open up your heart center roll your shoulders down your back and again scrunch it up drop it all the way back around and down last time up roll your shoulders back around and down beautiful just for a moment swaying your hips from side to side swaying your hands from side to side just finding a little bit of space one more time either side hands come back towards the outside edge of your thighs make sure your feet are hip width apart that you're standing at the back of your mat ready to flat out we need to do the other side i'm just going to change the orientation here as you inhale root to right as you exhale swan so it down graceful movement come up into halfway lift remember the alignment that we talked about come all the way down to standing forward fold we're going to walk all the way forward into downward facing dog ah beautiful find your position into your downward facing dog settle into it you're going to inhale lift up that right leg back behind us notice if you open up the hips what's happening in your palms pushing through your fingers pushing through your palms straighten out those arms wrap those elbows towards each other pull your chest back towards your left thigh lift up that right leg a bit high without opening up that hip beautiful bend into the knee look forward step that right foot forward drop down onto your left knee untuck your toes float both of your fingers up towards the sky crescent lunge make sure that that right knee is not going up towards the left or the right that it's going in line with your right toes beautiful i'm going to tuck under the toes of the left foot lift the left knee and come up into that high lunge eventually the thigh is going to be parallel towards the floor straighten out into that back leg so we're going to watch the prayer come together and find our way open up into warrior two pose so your hands parallel towards the mat right heel intersecting the left foot in the middle we'll drop that left hand back behind us rotate our right palm reverse into your warrior stretch out the right hand side of your body flow all the way back into warrior two pose from your warrior two pose drop your right elbow onto your right thigh trace the left hand side of your mat with the left hand open up your palm as we come into extended side angle breathe so again you can stay here if you want if you want to try go a little bit deeper we'll take the right hand and drop the right hand outside the right foot extending a little bit deeper into the extended side angle so bring your left and right hand into prayer position at the center of your chest keep the bend in that right knee lengthen out we come into a revolve twist as you bring the right elbow a left elbow on the outside of the right knee palms come together look across to that right hand side twist a little bit deeper if you can and then again we're going to try go deeper the right hand is going to float up towards the sky left hand is going to point down towards the mat open up just a little bit deeper beautiful lovely hands going to come into prayer position at the center of your chest float both of your hands down towards the mat step back into downward facing dog first we're going to move through a vinyasa flow forward into plank pose knees chin and chest baby cobra chaturanga dandasana upward facing dog 
whatever suits you today, flow through your vinyasa, maybe child's pose is what you need, meet you back in downward facing dog. Just going to walk all of our hands towards the back of the mat, bend into your knees, tuck your chin towards your chest, round out one vertebra at a time. So just bear with me, it's getting really hot in the sun here. Still a bad hair day, so we still need the beanie. Hope that you're having a beautiful Saturday. Just want to flow that out just one more time, a little bit quicker. So a peaceful warrior flow. Ready to flow with me? Let's go. Inhale, root to right. Exhale, swan dive it down. Inhale, come up into halfway lift. Exhale into standing forward fold. Walking all the way for down to downward facing dog. Inhaling, lifting up that left leg back behind you, settling into three-legged dog. Remember what's happening with your hips. Push down through that right heel. Look between your hands, step that left foot forward, drop down onto your right knee, untuck your toes, float your fingers back up towards the scars. We come into crescent lunge. Square the shoulders, square the hips. Tuck under the toes, push back through that right heel, come up into that high lunge. Hands come into prayer position at the center of your chest. Open up into warrior two pose. We're reversing into our warrior. Ah, beautiful. Come all the way back into warrior two pose. Extended side angle, dropping that right elbow, left elbow to that left thigh, opening up towards the right hand side. Again, we're going to stay here or maybe find a little bit of depth, taking the left hand outside our left foot, dropping it down, taking that arm forward. Hands come back into the prayer position at the center of your chest. Push down through that right heel, spin off it, bring the right elbow on the outside of the left thigh, come into a revolved uh, twist here. Right finger is going to point down towards the floor, left finger is up towards the sky, open up your chest a little bit more. Hands come back into prayer position. You're going to flow through a vinyasa, drop your hands down towards the mat, flow back to downward facing dog. So child's pose if you want, otherwise move through your vinyasa, knees, chin and chest, baby cobra, chaturanga dandasana, upward facing dog, meeting you back in downward facing dog. Three deep inhales and exhales here. One more side to go. Inhaling, lifting up the right leg. Keeping those hips square, three-legged block. Bending into the right knee, stepping it forward, dropping down onto the left knee, untucking your toes, coming up into a low lunge. Tuck under the toe of the left foot, lifting the left knee, high lunge. Watch your prayer touch, hands come into prayer position. Open up into warrior two pose. From your warrior two pose, reversing into your warrior. Reverse warrior, coming back into warrior two pose. Extended side angle, dropping the right elbow, right knee. Open up the chest. You want to go deeper, dropping the right hand outside the right foot. Reaching a little bit deeper. Hands come up into prayer position, lengthen up. Keep the legs engaged. We're twisting our body. Elbow on the outside of the right knee. Right elbow up towards the side, looking across to the right hand side. Again, if you want to come deeper, dropping that right left hand down, right hand floats up towards the ceiling. Use it to leverage and open up your twist. Hands come back into prayer position at the center of your chest. Whoops. We're moving through our last vinyasa here. From your front foot, throw your right foot back, downward facing dog. Floating forward into plank pose. Knees, chin and chest, baby cobra, whatever suits you, meet you back in downward facing dog. Well done, guys. 
Knees drop towards the outside edge of the mat. Big toes come to touch. Wide legged child's pose. Power breaths. Long deep inhales. Long deep exhales here. Just allow that sequence to connect into your body. Notice how your body is feeling in your practice this beautiful Saturday morning. Last two breaths. I want you to come up into tabletop position. Lift up your feet, cross your one foot in front of the other, drop your feet down towards the mat, sit your sitting back bones down, sitting back down into Sukhasana, easy seated position. Extend your legs out in front of you as we come into a staff pose. Ankles come together, hands down either side of your hips. So if you notice, as I push in through my hands, I straighten up my spine and I can see my shoulders in front of my hips, bring my shoulders back. Push the backs of your legs down towards the floor, down towards the mat, toes point up towards the ceiling. Feel the engagement, feel the activation. Open up your heart center, shoulder blades come towards each other. Two more breaths. As you inhale, arms go out towards the side, float your fingers up towards the sky. As you exhale, reach forward, tuck your belly in, seated, forward fold. Inhaling, floating your fingers back up towards the sky. Exhaling, dropping your hands out towards the side. We'll keep going. Inhale, float it up. Exhale, seated forward fold. Maybe find a little bit depth. Push out through the heels, chin towards your chest. Keep the length of the breath going. Again, on the inhale, floating your fingers up towards the ceiling. Sit down, lengthen up. Drop your hands out towards the side. Gather up this energy as we open up our palms, float our fingers up towards the ceiling. Reach forward, seated forward, fold. As you inhale, float your fingers up towards the sky. Hands drop out towards the side. Bend into left knee, bend into right knee. Open up your feet, hip width apart. Lift up your hands, place your hands underneath your knees. We're going to lengthen into our spine and lean back with a straight back, finding that pivoting moment as we lift up our shins parallel towards the floor. So you can stay here, but I want you to pull your chest forward, pull your belly button back. If you want to up-level it, extend your arms out in front of your palms, facing up towards the sky. So I want to just work through some boat to half boat poses. If you don't want to go further, then just hold your hands underneath your knees. For the rest of us, we're going to move through five of these. Take a deep inhale as you exhale, hover the legs, hover the shoulders, arms go out towards the side, look up, push out through the heels. As you inhale, come up into both pose. As you exhale, come down again. As you inhale, come up again. As you exhale, come down again. Inhale, come up again. Exhale, come down again. Inhale, come up again. Exhale, come down again. One for luck. Gently drop your feet down towards the floor. I want you to take your right hand back behind you. Lift your uh, left leg up. We're going to straighten out the right leg. Lift up that left leg. Push out through the heel. And you'll notice that my shoulders are back behind my hips. I need to lift up, straighten my spine. And then take my left arm out towards the left hand side. So left arm and right arm parallel towards the floor. Deep inhales, deep exhales. So now I want you to activate and engage into the left leg. We're going to release the bind of the left toes. Take our hand out towards the side, hover the legs. And then left hand is going to come all the way around to right hand. Hands coming to prayer position at the center of your chest. Drop that right leg down. Oof, okay. I'm going to bend into that left uh, right knee. Take our left hand towards the right toes. Again, notice what's happening with the back. Straighten out into that right leg. And then we're going to take that right hand all the way back behind us as we open it up. Long, deep inhales. Long, deep exhales. 
activate and engage into the right leg. Push out through the right heel, hover that right leg, release the bind of the hand, sit up a little bit higher. You'll feel the hip flex engage. Keep the leg extended. Right hand comes all the way around to meet the left hand. Hands come back into prayer position. Drop into that right leg. Hands come back behind you. Open up your feet to either side of the mat and gently move your feet from side to side as we windscreen wiper our legs. Beautiful. Bring your legs back into that neutral position in the center. Bend into left knee. Right hand comes to pistol grip the left big toes. Lengthen out through that left leg. Sit up. Left arm goes back behind you. Activate, engage, lengthen your crown of your head up towards the sky. Breathe. Straightening out through that leg, releasing the bind. Hands parallel towards the mat. Left hand comes towards the right hand. Hands come back into prayer position. Drop into that left leg. Going to bend into that right knee. Take your left hand. Pistol grip the right big toes. Sit up. Straighten out that leg. Right hand comes back behind you. Twist it out. Lengthen it out. Beautiful Saturday morning practice. And then we're going to activate and engage into that hip flexor as we release the bind. Hold the leg. Sit up. Breathe. Right hand comes all the way around to the left hand. Hands come into prayer position. Release that right foot down towards the floor. Hands come back behind you. Open up your feet hip width apart or just outside. The windscreen wiper your legs from side to side. And then bring your feet hip width apart. Hands flip, bending into left elbow, bending into right elbow, rolling all the way down onto your backs. I'm going to just slow it down now as we start to prepare our bodies for Shavasana. I'm going to bend into your knees. Feet parallel towards the outside edges of the mat. Toes pointing forward, heels pointing backwards. And then I want you to step in through your feet, lift up your hips, tuck your pubic bone towards your belly button, and then roll your lower back down towards the floor. You should feel that lower back connected. Arms go up towards the side, this time palms facing down in line with your shoulders. And notice what's happening in your neck. Lift up your head, lengthen out through the back of your neck, and drop the back of your head down. A gentle supine twist here. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, knees drop across to the left-hand side. Gaze goes across to the right-hand side. As you inhale, knees come back towards the center. As you exhale, knees go across to the right. Gaze left. Inhaling, knees come back to center. Exhaling, knees left. Gaze right. Inhaling, knees come back to center. Exhaling, knees go across to the right-hand side. Gaze left. So we're going to deepen into this twist just a little bit. As you inhale, knees come back to center. As you exhale, knees go across to that left-hand side. I want you to lift up the left foot. Place the left ankle outside the right knee and drop the left knee down towards the floor. Lengthen out into your arms and look across to the right-hand side. We're holding it for three breaths. Belly rises on the inhale. Pull your belly back towards the spine on the exhale. Just detoxing. And then release the bind of the left foot on the outside of the right knee. As you inhale, knees come back towards the center. As you exhale, knees go across to that right hand side. Lift up the right foot, place the right foot on the outside of the left knee. Drop the right knee down first. Lengthen out through the arms as you stretch out, looking to the left hand side. Three breaths. Release the bind of the right foot on the outside of the left knee. Drop it down towards the mat as you inhale. Bring your knees back towards the center. Flip your palms, knees come towards each other. Just a mini transition here. Deep inhale, deep exhale. And one more. 
open up your knees, extend the left leg out in front of you, extend the right leg out in front of you. Bend the left knee in towards your left armpit, place your right hand onto your right hip. Left arm comes inside left knee, reach the right left fingers for the underneath of your left foot and then come into half happy baby on that left hand side. Pulling down through the underneath of your foot, knees coming into your armpit, hips as square as they can be, lengthen out through your spine, deep inhales and deep exhales. And then bend into that left heel, drop the left heel down towards the sitting bone, release the bind, extend that left leg out in front of you. Drop your left hand onto your left hip, bend into the right knee, Right knee comes towards your right armpit, right arm inside your right knee, reach for the outside of your right foot, toes connecting to the underneath of your foot as we prepare for happy baby on the right hand side. Again, keeping the hips square, gently pulling down on the underneath of the foot as that knee comes in towards your armpit. Release the right heel down towards the right sitting bone. Release the bind. Extend that right leg out in front of you. Right hand onto right hip. Left knee comes in towards your armpit. Left arm sets up for happy baby on that left hand side. Maybe finding a little bit of depth here. We're here for three breaths. Bend the left heel towards the left sitting bone, release the bind, extend it all the way out. Left hand onto left hip, bend the left, right, sorry, the right knee towards your armpit, sitting up for a half happy baby on that right hand side. Again, noticing what's happening as we move through each of the asanas. Are you finding the depth? Are you keeping the stillness and awareness, the consciousness with which you're practicing? Bring your attention to the right leg, keep that, oh, sorry, left leg, keep the left leg active. One more breath here. Release the right heel down towards the sitting bone, extend it all the way out. Arms go out towards the side, palms facing up towards the ceiling. Open up your feet hip width apart. Just mini relaxation as you totally, totally relax and melt your body in towards the mat, in towards the floor. Two more breaths. You can keep your eyes closed if you want, or keep them open, bend into left knee, bend into right knee, underneath of your feet, connecting to the floor, step into your feet, release your lower back down towards the floor, down towards the mat, and then we're coming into full happy baby as you bend your knees in towards your armpits, hands come inside your knees, reaching for the underneath of your foot, feet, should I say. See if you can drop your sacrum down towards the floor, Pull in through the underneath of your feet. Feel the connection of your lower back, middle back towards the floor. Lengthen out through the back of your neck and smile. Happy baby, not just baby. And then I'm going to encourage you to be playful this morning. Maybe just pulling in through the underneath of the left foot, rocking across to the left hand side and before you fall, pull in through the underneath of the right foot and pull yourself across to the right hand side as we nurture into the lower back. Lots of work in the lower back this morning. Again, moving across to the left-hand side and right-hand side. And maybe you don't want to make this movement. Maybe you just want to find stillness. That's up to you. As long as you're smiling, as long as you're enjoying your yoga practice on this beautiful Saturday morning, feeling the energy of us connected, no matter where we are, come back into that neutral position just three more deep inhales and exhales here so when you come into a recline butterfly pose as you bring the underneath of your feet together as best as you can holding your feet knees drop out towards the side opening up the hips just a little bit more two deep inhales and exhales here Release the bind, drop your feet down towards the floor, knees point up towards the ceiling. Arms go on the outside of your body, 45 degrees, palms facing up towards the ceiling. Extend your legs out in front of you. Left ankle towards the left hand side of the mat, toes drop out. 
Right ankle towards the right hand side of the mat. Toes drop out. You can just wiggle into your body, get the back of your body down towards the floor, down towards the mat as I've got company here. I'm not sure if you can see. Good morning, Zoza. Very excited. And then gently close into your eyes. Long, slow inhale through your nose. Open up your mouth, let the breath go. And again, long, slow inhale through your nose. Open up your mouth, let the breath go. Close into your mouth, keep your eyes closed. The active practice of yoga is done for today. Just relaxing, allowing this beautiful practice to integrate itself into your bodies at a cellular level. Honoring your body, honoring your practice, finding that stillness that you've created in this practice. Gentle flow of breath. Inhaling, exhaling, no no effort it's just going to flow naturally feel the back of your body melting to the floor melting towards the mat Keeping that consciousness and awareness the whole way through your practice. So very grateful for you joining me in this practice this morning. Beautiful yogis. Soften a little bit deeper, keep that stillness. Bringing your attention back into the space that you're practicing in, noticing the connection of your body to the floor and to the mat. We'll bring the sensation of touch back to your body, taking your thumb, gently caressing each of your fingertips. One fingertip at a time. And wiggling into your fingers, wiggling into your toes when you're ready. And then finally rotating into your wrist, rotating into your ankles. Three or four or five times in either direction. Balancing out the number of rotations. Ankles come together, extend your arms above your head. Inhaling, stretching your body out. Opening up your mouth, letting the breath go. One more time, inhaling, stretching it out, exhaling, pulling your knees in towards your chest, rolling across to that left hand side or right hand side as you come into fetal position. Repeat your sankalpa, your intention, your affirmation, just three more times. And then pushing in through your hands, coming up into Sukhasana, easy seated position. One last time. Hands come into prayer position at the center of your chest. Lengthen out into your spine. Relax into the shoulders. Chin come down towards your chest in gratitude. So in gratitude for this most wonderful and sacred practice of yoga. For the way in which your body's carried you through your practice today and through your life. And mostly having gratitude for all the blessings that you have in your life. Each one of you are blessings in my life. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I'm very, very grateful. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Namaste, beautiful people. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice. Always like feedback. Send me a WhatsApp. Send